The brown coloration of healthy coral is due to microscopic algae called zooxanthellae that live within its tissue. The coral has a special relationship with these algae called a symbiotic relationship. The coral acquires food from the algae and the algae receive a safe place to live. However, if water temperatures rise, corals become stressed and this relationship begins to break down. The zooxanthellae begin to leave the coral tissue. Without its resident zooxanthellae, the polyp tissue is transparent and the white limestone skeleton beneath becomes visible. This process is called bleaching. The coral polyps, now a ghostly white, are still alive. If normal temperatures return in time, they can recover their symbiotic algae and return to health. However, if the water remains too warm for too long, the polyps will starve and eventually die. Within a few days, the dead coral skeleton becomes coated in plants that move in to fill the space. Other reef creatures that have zooxanthellae in their tissue, such as giant clams and anemones, are also known to bleach under these stressful conditions. If stressful conditions, such as high water temperatures, occur over large areas, the reef may experience a mass bleaching event. The Great Barrier Reef has suffered from several mass bleaching events, with between 60 and 95% of reefs in the marine park being affected during some years. Most reefs have survived with relatively low levels of coral death while some locations suffered severe damage, with up to 90% of corals killed. Full recovery of badly damaged reefs will take many years, even decades. Corals and reefs are, to an extent, resilient to the impacts of coral bleaching events. However, if coral reefs are continually subjected to the impacts of severe bleaching and other disturbances, their resilience or ability to recover is likely to diminish.